In this circuit in which we know that the input voltage Vs1 is 5 volts and the input voltage Vs2 is 7 volts because those are data given to us in the exercise and assuming there is no saturation find what is this voltage the output voltage of the series of op-amps. We can solve this exercise using modified nodal analysis on MNA, writing a KCL equation for this node 1, for this node 2, for this node 3, but not for this node x, not for this node y, and definitely not for this node of the output voltage, V0. There are six unknowns, V1, Vx, V2, Vy, V3, and V0. And we are assuming there is no saturation, so there is negative feedback for this op-amp. There is negative feedback for this one, and there is negative feedback for that one. That is three negative feedback equations, and there are three KCL equations, one for node 1, another for node 2, and a third one for node 3. There are six equations, and we can write them. We know that the current here is zero, the current there is zero, and the current here is zero amps as well. There are the branch currents in blue. Let's write first the negative feedback equations, one for op-amp alpha, another for beta, and another for gamma. V1 is zero. V1 is zero. This current is 0 amps, so the voltage Vp here is 7 volts as well. So this negative feedback equation for op-amp beta is V2 is 7 volts. V2 is 7 volts. And the third and last negative feedback equation for this one is that Vy equals to V3. Vy equals to V3. Now we write the KCL equation 1, 5 minus V1 over 25 equals to V1 minus Vx over 50. 5 minus V1 over 25 equals to V1 minus Vx over 50. KCL 2 is Vx minus V2 over 100 equals to V2 minus Vy over 100. Vx minus V2 over 100 equals to V2 minus Vy over 100. Finally, KCL3, V0 minus V3 over 100 equals to V3 over 50. V0 minus V3 over 100 equals to V3 over 50. And the solution is V0 is 72 volts. V0 is 72 volts. Thank you very much.